Today we're going to talk about smoke detectors and how you unplug them. So stick around for all the helpful tips. How to wire a new residential construction. Okay, so everybody has a smoke detector, usually hardwired, either on their wall or on their ceiling, doesn't matter. Um, there's a couple of important things to remember about this. When you're taking it off, you're going to turn counterclockwise. When you're putting it on, you're going to turn clockwise. So to take it off, you're going to turn counterclockwise and pull it off. Now in the back, you're going to see the wiring. The wiring is live, has 120 volts. So a safe way to do this would be to shut off the power. If you can identify the breaker or have somebody do it for you. This is usually on with a lighting circuit. So when you lose your lights, you know that your smoke detector has gone out or the little green light, I don't know if you can see that, goes out with it. However, we're just going to do this live to show you. Don't go pulling on the wires because what will happen is, is you'll pull them off the Marek connections in the wall inside the box and cause a short. So all smoke detectors on the back side, you're going to see the pin connector right here. That unplugs. So you're just going to simply pull on it. Get the smoke detector, it has three or four pins on the back and then the pin connector stays on the wall. The pin connector can, it only goes in one way and it'll usually have two little depressions or release pins that you push in on. That varies on the smoke detector on, on, on the size. Now, most smoke detectors either have the battery on the back, the older ones, or on the side. This has it on the side, so you don't even need to unplug it to change the battery. You can see here. That's it guys. Just be careful when you're taking them off and how you unplug them. If you unplug it uh, because it's, it's, uh, it's going off and you shouldn't be unplugging it and you're doing it to silence it, we're not technically supposed to tell you to do that because uh, it's your safety at stake. But they do unplug. Sometimes you need to unplug them to paint around them. Sometimes you need to unplug them for whatever reason. But if you do, remember there are two, pin connect or, two or three pin connectors on the back that usually just pull out or depress and then pull out. Um, don't pull on these wires here on the wall because you will pull them out and then you'll be calling your electrician to come and fix it. So when you put it back on, you're just going to simply turn it clockwise until it's back on. Voila, there you have it. So very simple way to unplug and plug back in smoke detectors. Um, they all come off one way or another. Remember, like I said, just be easy on it when you're pulling it off. Uh, that's our short video for today, and don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the next one.